Welcome to episode 151, New Customer Welcome Packages. I'm Paula Williams. I'm John Williams. And we are ABCI, and ABCI's mission is... To help all you folks out there in the aviation world sell more products and services. Absolutely. So uh, this episode is brought to you by ABCI Brochures. Uh, Our brochures are actually designed because most of the brochures in the aviation industry that we have seen are really appallingly boring, right? (laughs) And we actually did a podcast episode, this was way back in episode number 69, where we talked about appallingly boring uh, aviation industry brochures and what you can do about them. So there's lots of reasons to have a great brochure and those are, you know, you can include them in your prospecting packages, you can include them in your welcome packages, which is what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, You can use them at trade shows. We have a a package where you can have them printed and designed, designed and printed actually, we design them before we print them, uh, for $13.79 and that's for 500 brochures, which is actually a really great deal. Um, So that's a limited time situation obviously we can't afford to do that forever but yeah. it's a, a really good uh, way to get your foot in the door with ABCI do a small project together see how we fit uh, and then we'll also give you a free month in our marketing lab where you get to hang out with our other customers and uh, learn some new ways to use your fabulous shiny new brochures right exactly. okay so let's get on with today's episode um, last week we talked about the onboarding process. And so a welcome package is part of that onboarding process and it's really part of that first part of the relationship where they've handed you a check and you need to hand them something, right? You don't want to turn around on your heel and walk out with your check in hand to go on. <laughs> exactly, I got a, the raw end of this deal. You want to make sure that they have a really good warm fuzzy feeling about you in every possible way that you can control uh, in that first little bit. Uh, First impressions are very important and uh, this being part of that. So we talked about that warm handshake. Uh, You want to make sure that they feel like a valued customer, that they feel like you really appreciate their business and you're giving them everything that they need in order to succeed with this, right? Exactly. Okay. So every transaction involves documents, right? (laughs) Have you ever been involved in a transaction that didn't involve documents? I don't think so. I mean, nowadays, there's occasionally uh, digital signatures and other kinds of things. But usually when you make a, a major purchase, there's some paper involved. Uh, and so you don't want to just shove them a pile of paper across the table. You want to really make this part of, of a good experience for them. So you're probably going to have an executive package with the person who executed the deal where you have your contracts, your agreements, your warranties, your uh, paid invoices, your payment schedule if there is one, you know, anything that's really important to the people who are actually paying the bills and making the decisions, right? So those custom executive documents, uh, we like to put those in a nice folder. Uh, In fact, let me grab one of those. So there's a couple of things that we use, this being one of them, and this is a nice um, material. Uh, It feels good, Uh, it's matte. It uh, does not show fingerprints, <laughs> which is one thing we learned early in our uh, printing career is that uh, there are some really beautiful shiny stocks that uh, show fingerprints like nobody's business. This is something you can handle over and over again, and it's going to be fairly durable and not mm-hmm. look like uh, something the cat dragged in after the first time somebody's handled it. Uh, it's got room for uh, documents on the inside, business cards and things like that. So. Uh, Something like this, it has your contact information on it as well. Uh, Really, really helpful for those executive documents and making those look really nice. Uh, And those usually go to just one person that you made the deal with, right? Exactly. Okay. And then you're going to have more people. Uh, Most aviation transactions involve a bunch of folks that are involved in the project in one way or another. Uh, And these could be operational people, uh, pilots, any number of of different folks involved in your client's office who don't know you, (laughs) who have no idea what this is all about. You're being inflicted on them by their boss who wants them to participate or help them with this project in some way. So we like to create a nice little packet for each person that's going to be involved in the project that has 
uh, you know, here's the basics of what's going on. <laughs> Here's who we are. Here's roles and responsibilities, expectations within the first 30 to 90 days, some tutorials, some explainers, glossaries, uh, FAQs. Uh, we like to include a little notepad and a pen just so that they feel like they're really cared for and they're really valued as part of this project, right? Uh, we also like to include other media like USB drives and uh, CDs, weirdly enough. There's a lot of folks, this is 2018 when we're recording this, so uh, <laughs> I know we actually have people who are listening to our podcasts from years and years and years ago, so uh, it's kind of interesting the way that works. They have a, a pretty long lifetime. These things can also have a pretty long lifetime. Uh, we've got CDs that you can pull out. The manufacturers are not including them with computers any longer. That's true. But you can get a disc player wireless nowadays that sit beside it mm -hmm. and apparently it works but we don't have that but uh right and one of our marketing mastermind groups in a different industry they're actually in the finance industry stopped uh -huh. sending out cds to some of their uh customers and ended up losing a whole bunch of customers and this was in 2017 so that yeah. was not that long ago uh, and then they had to work really hard to get those folks back because they felt like it wasn't as good of a deal they weren't getting what they had paid for because they weren't getting the CDs in their packets. Uh, and that was financial advice. But anything that you sell, there's probably some tutorials, some documents, some other things that you could put on a CD so that people have them electronically and make it easier for them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can use either, you know, the customized USB drives. You could get the kind that you can put your logo on. Uh, if you do CDs, the nice thing about those is they have a big flat surface that you can use for a label. <laughs> <laughs> which is really nice. Uh, you know, more branding is, is better, right? Yep. Okay. There's also some nice binders and folders on the market that you can use for some of these documents. Uh, we like to use just the view binders so you, we can print things custom for each customer and slide those in, in mm -hmm. the spines and in the front and back cover. Uh, and then, of course, there's lots of ways that you can do those those folders and have some folders made that are pretty versatile. So you can use them for your welcome packets, your prospecting packets, and many different uses. And if you're going to use a three-ring version, make sure you use the D-ring sort. Mm. It's a lot easier to use for the customer. Yeah, round rings drive people crazy. Mm -hmm. And spending an extra couple of bucks here, you know, especially in the aviation industry, most of our transactions are in the thousands or multiple thousands or millions. Uh, you don't want to be cutting corners on no. how you deliver your documents and how you take care of your customer. So that polish really has to shine in this welcome package, if anywhere. If there's any place you want to spend money, this is it, right? Exactly. Okay, first impressions being really important. Uh, branded merchandise. It astonishes us to see how much merchandise gets thrown around at trade shows. And yeah, how... Not branded properly. Right. And how little branded merchandise gets thrown around when you are you enter a new transaction with a customer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if anything, this is the time when you really want to shine and you really want to spoil your, your folks and make them feel uh, cared for. You don't want to throw things at people at trade shows where you're just giving one to everybody that comes by. That's a waste of money and a waste of resources. No, nope. it's all part of an integrated marketing approach. Right, exactly. So there's lots of branded merchandise. We like to see things that are actually useful with the product or service that you sell. Uh, in fact, uh, I had to laugh because I was watching. Um, we get these uh, workout CDs from Beachbody. And, of course, they sell all their other products and services in uh, these little videos that come after the workout video and so on. And so they were advertising this other program. And what came with it was this fabulous VIP package that had the workout videos and worksheets, and a roll of electrical tape so that you could, not electrical tape, the painter's tape, right? Yeah. The blue painter's tape that you can put on your floor. And it had a menu guide for, uh, <laughs> you know, recipes and other kinds of things and a foam roller. And, of course, this little roll of tape and the foam roller probably cost them $2 or something. Yeah. But they're selling this package for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Uh, because they make it really convenient for people and make it seem like a really VIP experience by adding these additional things. True. So anything that you can add that adds convenience without adding a lot of cost, you want to put in this package. 
So this is the welcome package that you got when you bought Charlie. The right? first airplane, yes. Okay. This is November 6208 Charlie. Yep. Uh, and brand new from the factory. We got lovely baby pictures uh, of the airplane as it was going through the factory. Uh, what else did you get? You got flashlights, key yeah. fob. A couple of key fobs, a uh, mm -hmm. cleaning kit for the interior, cleaning kit for the exterior. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit, actually, and a couple of shirts. A mm -hmm. couple of shirts, a little card uh, with their customer service numbers, all that stuff. And a CD with uh, a lot of stuff on it. Yeah, some training programs and other well, things. Well, and, and also, they wouldn't let me out of the factory until I'd gone to the three-day training course. And right. So... That kind of goes beyond. I mean, even though I've been flying these things and other stuff for years, they mm -hmm. don't let you get out. Right. Plus uh, an acceptance test flight with a test pilot. Mm -hmm. so. so that delivery process was fantastic, and the welcome package oh, you yeah. walked out of there with made you feel... Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, like you just made a fantastic decision, mm -hmm. and you're working with a really cool company that has their act together, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was Cessna, which is fantastic. This was uh, a flight school I went to in Georgetown, Texas, where they, and this was a while ago, you can tell because they have the, uh, they don't have an iPad, they have the actual sectional charts and things oh. like that. This was 2006, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but got the, all of the tools, the E6B, the manuals for the airplane that I'd be using, radio cheat sheets for the knee board. We got a knee board, of course. Uh, the far aim. Oh, this was 2009. I can tell because it says yes, so right, right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, the far aim for that year. A nice flight bag to keep everything in. And I think there were some granola bars and a bottle of water in there at the time. So this was really kind of set me up for success as a flight student. Here's everything that you need so that you have no excuse for not succeeding here. If you're hungry, if you're thirsty, if you need a map, if you need a pen, all that stuff is included in the bag. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really nice way of looking at this from a, a customer's perspective is, you know, what does a customer need to be successful mm -hmm. in this process, right? Okay. Um, this is another welcome package that you got from Garmin. Actually, that was from Cessna. Oh, okay. This was also used, from Cessna. They used the G1000 in there, and uh, that was one of the shirts. Okay. So, actually, you bought the Garmin at the same time you bought the Cessna, so you got both. Well, it comes integrated in the product. Right, okay, cool. But still, uh, really nice packaging. Nice shirt. You still have that shirt. Yep. It was a really high-quality shirt, actually. Um, most of the branded merchandise that you get will show some wear after you've washed it once or twice. And, you know, you really want to show the quality of your company here because mm -hmm. you want this to be something that people will wear for years. And the more people see them in it and it looks good, the better. <laughs> the more people that see them in it and it looks like it got caught in the lint filter 47 times, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> so you want to make sure that anything you put in these these kits that anybody's going to see is going to look good and is going to hold up to, uh, to some wear and tear, right? Yep. Okay. So um, we have a lovely... Um, checklist that we use with our clients in their office hours for their new customer welcome packets and just to go through a few of the things that we've got here uh, you know in the custom documents you want to have a copy of your signed agreements details of the purchase receipts paid receipts and paid invoices roles and responsibilities warranty guarantee information results to expect in the first 30 to 90 days, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Marketing documents that go to everybody or everybody who touches your product project, and you want to cast as wide a net as you can here for the reasons we talked about. Product sheets, brochures for the product or service that they purchased, because once again, you have to actually sell this all over again to every person that's involved in your project. They have to feel like it's a good idea in order to get their full participation. Yes. Okay. Um, catalogs, product sheets, um, other products and services that you sell, you want to give them an incentive to maybe think about some of the other products and services that they might need in conjunction with what they've just purchased. Also, to give you good referrals to think people that they know. Uh, you want to have a directory of your customer service personnel, ideally with sh photos and short bios, so that they feel good about picking up the phone and talking to somebody uh, about this. You want a calendar with your educational events, uh, you know, we're going to be at these different shows demo demoing these different products. Uh, we have a webinar 
once a quarter to demonstrate this product or to help people on board documents. Uh, tutorials, frequently asked questions, glossaries, troubleshooting guides, case studies, testimonials, and a customer satisfaction survey. True. You want surveys from everybody who works with you, right? Yeah, just uh, not uh, a lot of them back to back. <laughs> That's your current pet peeve is getting a dozen surveys from the same company within a year. Well, every time I talk to somebody, they send me a survey. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Once is fine. Yeah. Right. Okay. And you do want to get feedback from people in operations and people involved with the product. You know, how's it working? Is there anything we could do to make it easier? Um, funky packaging that's causing you issues and, and things like that. Okay, so that's documents, media. We talked about using high-quality printed materials, CDs, USB sticks with copies of documents and media so that it's really easy for them, especially if they need an electronic copy for whatever reason. Uh, high-quality folders, three-ring binders, things like that that are going to hold up to a little bit of wear and they're going to look good on their desk six months from now, uh, ideally with not a whole lot of fingerprints and stuff. And, uh, okay, and then you all also want to include... As many as is practical, and you, this has to be in proportion to the, the size of the transaction. Mm -hmm. uh, branded merchandise, accessories that go with the product or service that you talked about, desk accessories, especially for your white collar folks, shop accessories for your blue collar folks. Uh, you know, they're not going to use, you know, a, a, these desk toys and things like that out in the shop, but they might use a tape measure or a, or a level or something, and they've got some really fun ones in some of the catalogs for uh, uh, merchandise. Food or candy. Uh, we've seen people use toys with really good results for that. People love those things like the balsa wood airplanes or coloring books or things like that that they can take home to their kids. Okay, so those are branded materials for subscriptions or renewed services. You want to include on a monthly or yearly basis, you want to include those executive summaries, invoice, tax documents, current catalogs at least once a year, new things. We like to send a new coffee mug or a new a new toy or something like that once a year, just so that they remember and also so that the only time that they hear from you is not when they get your invoice, right? Yep. Okay, so this episode is brought to you by our brochure service. ABCI uh, does brochures for aviation companies only. We have that specialty, so we, we use language that's going to be compelling for your, your specific customers. Uh, you can use these in your prospecting packages, in your welcome packages, at trade shows, uh, designed and printed for $13.79, and you also get a free month in our marketing lab. And that marketing lab you can use to figure out, how am I going to use these brochures in the best possible way? Uh, if you have a drawer full of brochures that you're not using, uh, these are great folks to talk to because they have a ton of ideas for how to get those in the hands of people who are going to... Uh, uh, actually be making decisions and some ideas for prospecting packages and other things that you might want to do. Uh, it also includes our book club, our networking events, including our NBAA breakfast in October in Orlando. That's going to be fun. We have a really nice restaurant where we've done those in the past and uh, breakfast is really good and it is the most important meal of the day, especially when you're doing a trade show because uh, you're going to be on your feet for a long time. True. Right? Okay. So uh, if you'd like to talk about your new customer welcome packages, if you'd like to walk through your package with us and show us what you've got and see if we have any ideas for maybe improving it or finding ways to deploy it in a more effective way or if you need to reduce cost on it, lots of people have different reasons that they need to adjust these things for one reason or another. Yes, right? they do. All right. So hit the gold contact us button on our homepage uh, or go to 30minutes.abci one.com and it'll take you to a page where you can choose 30 minutes on our calendar that's convenient for you and uh, we'd be happy to talk with you about your new customer welcome packages or anything else having to do with aviation marketing marketing <laughs> of course <laughs> right if it's uh, how to fix a something so. on an airplane then uh, john might be able to help you but i won't so uh, anyway we look forward to talking with you in whatever capacity and we'll see you next week Thanks. See you next time.